Welcome back to the Ghost Key. I am Green. Today we're playing more whatever this game is. Yeah, Pokemon Leaf Green. Yeah, we're we're in the whatever the hell this place is. The Victory Road. I get you. It's a fucking Geo, dude. They're so cute. They're so cute. They're so cute. So anyway, um, uh, while we're walking through here, uh, I have been looking ahead a little bit at um our next Pokemon LP, which is going to be Soul Silver. I have that pretty much all ready to go. Um, well, I guess I, not really like ready to go or anything like I've done anything to it yet. But um, I I still have to make. Well, I'm not making it. My girlfriend is. I still have to make the um the the layout because it's got the split screen bullshit thing, which makes LPs kind of a pain in the ass. And now yeah, I have to fucking dick around with that stuff. I don't know why I'm moving this over here. It just looks like it needed to be moved. So I'm just kind of is, is this something that we're supposed to do here? It looks like it to me. So um yeah, I've got that, and I have been thinking I have been thinking a little bit of a uh, of what Pokemon I'm gonna grab when I go through the game. Um I'm not entirely sure what the party is gonna look like um obviously if i had if i had subs right now i'd be asking you guys you know what what you want to see what you know what you're looking for you know or what you just like me to use if there's anything out there in particular that would prove to be interesting you know something you know not so much on the beaten path you know that a lot of people use like let's just say for instance an area does i don't plan on using one and i really don't care for them and, but I mean, you know, once again, if there's people out there who are like, yeah, I use an area dose, use an area dose, and all that shit, and I'm like, oh, all right, whatever, I'll do it. It's not, a, you know, not a big deal to me. And I'm not that big of a dick when it comes to, you know, how good a Pokemon has to be. It doesn't have to be, you know, super ultra competitive. Or the, ooh, an Onyx. Ooh, Garden. Why don't you just fucking surf that bitch? Um, you know, that, that's just me though. I'm, I'm not really that picky about that sort of shit. I'll use it or at least try, you know, to experiment and, and experience new things. It's kind of the intent of these, of you know, me playing these games at least, you know, just because, you know, like I said, I, I've seen a lot of LPs over the years and over the years. <laughs> um, I've seen a lot of LPs and, oh, a sand slash. This guy's gonna get fucked too. Level 44. Hell yeah, this place is gonna be awesome to grind in. A good job of leveling these fuckers up in here. Um, I just, you know, I just want to try to um, to use something different, use something that people don't see, you know, every day in every LP. Like I said, I've seen a lot of a lot of LPs where people, you know, use the same shit over and over and over, and I'm not really into that. Dragon Claw. I think that's really the one I want right there, really. Um, it's just, I don't know. Like I said, I mean, every time you watch an LP, you see common stuff, you know, Charizard, you know, uh, T-Tars and shit like that. Which is perfectly fine if that's your thing. It's just not my thing, you know. I kind of off the beaten path, and I'm pretty sure this is going to be a little, a little fucking fighter chick, whatever you want to call them. So we're going we're gonna to switch it up. She looks like a fucking black belt or whatever they call them sometimes in here. Um... So, you know, like I said, that's that's what I'm gonna try to do. Now, I mean I know I've used some some Pokemon that, you know, are common. Pidgey, obviously. You know. Uh fucking Bulbasaur and shit like that. But, you know, this is also the first LP we've ever done on the channel and um Oh damn, this girl has all sorts of shit in here. Um So, you know, like I said, that was just it was just important for me for me personally to use something that I have a huge emotional or you know whatever tie to you know nostalgic tie to which is obviously Bulbasaur it's, it's my favorite and all that good shit so you know there's there's that and that's pretty much all there is to it and, and you know like Primeape you know here I try to use something different something you don't see every day you know but uh you know like a Persian Persian would be fun my girlfriend wanted me to use one of those, so I was like, I don't know. I don't think they can really learn all that much. That's all that useful. And they have, like, have kind of a, you know, limited move pool, which is fine if you've got other stuff that has, you know, uh, uh, very diverse move pools and shit like that. You can certainly sacrifice and run a Persian or something like that. 
Or Perugly. God, I hate that thing. That was a joke, by the way. Not using the Perugly anytime soon. No, not happening. But, but, anyway, um, as I said before, I don't know really how long or, or how much, how much work is, or how much, how much time, uh, Soul Silver is going to take us. Like I said, it is a pretty long game, much shorter than this, and considering I'm already past 50 episodes, I'm here, and probably close to 60 by the time this goes up. But, um, you know, it, just one of those things where yeah, it's it's gonna take a while. I don't know how long it'll take. Either way, I'm gonna start on uh, what is it called? Omega Ruby. There we go. I'm gonna start on Omega Ruby as soon as I get it. Um, hell, to be honest with you, I mean that comes out like Thanksgiving weekend. I think I said. I think it is. And you know, since I won't have school that work that work that week, that week I'll just you know probably fucking play that shit all night and record and stuff and just have fun with it um because yeah like i said I, by then i should have a capture card and all that good shit and, and and it'll be fun it will be fun and i think people will enjoy it and hopefully it'll attract a lot more people to the channel i mean i'm not really it's not really my intent is to like you know do all these things that'll get me lots of fucking subs and, and you know lots of people watching the channel i mean yes i you know ideally you want people watching it and all that good shit but you know, I'm not going to sit here and whore myself out just for viewers and subs and shit like that. It's just not the kind of person I am. You know, but... Oh, this asshole. Alright, then uh, I'll show you how good I am, you little prick. But, um, you know, but like I said, hopefully that, that will help bring in people. Um, because, you know, I mean, yeah, we want this channel that, to grow. And, and, you know, mostly I just want, you know... I really just want people that you know you can interact with on here. Um, I have a lot of, well, I think a lot of cool ideas that we could do with the channel, and, and you know, and to to have you know things, have the videos be a little a little interactive, you know, much more so than just oh vote in the comments. Yeah, I'm gonna do a little more than that, I think, just because you know it's. I think, I think it'll be fun, and like I said, I just want people to 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 watch the videos and just interact that's really all I'm looking for I mean even if it's just a handful of people or you know I really don't care if I get a zillion subs and like fucking 10 people that comment all the time that's fine or 10 people that only comment ever you don't have a fire type do we? no he brings this guy this little badass little fucker I love him but anyhow um you know like I said with with that dropping, hopefully the channel, you know, really picks up some steam, or, you know, around then. I know, unfortunately, it's leading into Christmas and shit like that, but hopefully with, like, you know, Christmas break and, and people and myself, you know, having Christmas break and all that shit, you know, hopefully that, that gives people some time to stop on by the Ghost Key and, and see all the shit that we're, we're about here, and hopefully people will, will like it. Like I said, I'm not really one of those people that fucking change or whore myself out for shit, but... You know, and and hopefully people will just take it at face value and like it. That's really all there is to it. Either way, I'm fucking having fun, and I guess that's what matters, right? And I once again, I don't know how long this fucking episode's been going. I keep fucking doing it. I'm all excited to play this because I'm really excited. I don't know why. I'm really excited to wrap this, to wrap this up. I'm really excited to take on the Elite Four and in this, this this LP and move on to to Soul Silver. I mean, I liked. Soul Silver a lot, or what? I should just say Heart Gold. I tried Soul Silver and I just never ended up completing it, and that's really my fault. But you know, yeah, I mean, it was still fun, and that's why I wanted to do Soul Silver is because I didn't finish that one. I finished Heart Gold. I don't know why the fuck it ended up like that too, but it did, and it is what it is. So I'm not too, not too upset about it. Ooh, a Charizard. We are getting some, some good training in here. I mean, honestly, if, like, half of us... Half of us. Half of us. Half of the Pokemon are, are anywhere close to, like, level 50. We may... Well, I think everyone should be about level 50. I mean, if everyone is around there by the time we get there, or if we just need to level up just a couple of peeps, we'll be fine. I think. Because I think 50-something will, will get us through. I mean, as we've been seeing, with the way... With our group... We actually we actually cover quite a bit of stuff. Um, 
I mean, just, just a lot of types and shit like that that we have covered pretty well. So, I'm not, I'm not super worried about that shit. Because, like I said, no shit, I don't want Stella out there. Stella's gonna get scared by that shit. You know, with Hoogard and, and, and shit, you know, he'll, he'll wreck house. Uh, and, uh, and so will, uh, so will fucking everybody, really. Um, I, I think we'll be alright. We'll have probably still end up leaning on, like, the same, the same four. Lorelai is gonna be, I think, I think Lorelai, the ice chick, is gonna be the toughest. She's gonna be the first one to fight, and I think she's gonna be the toughest. Mostly because she's got water and ice, and I just feel like, oops. I just feel like, uh, I just feel like Granker's the weak spot in the team. Um, I hate to say that. It just, it just feels like that's the position that is weakest, in my opinion. Um, just because of the fact that it can't take hits, and it's obviously under leveled. That's why I was saying. I mean, I think if everyone was about close to 50, I think we'd be fine because then it'd just be a few levels. But the problem with Granker though is he's gonna have to pretty much go in and oko everything. I don't even know what those fucking things do. Did I mention that in the last episode? I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing in here. But, um, yeah. It, he kind of feels like the weak link in the group, as far as I'm concerned. It just... I don't know. I just... I'm not very confident, I guess that's what I'm saying. If it comes down to it, I'm not confident in Granker... You know, Granker's ability to get the job done. Ayo! Um, but that's just me. I... I hate to say that, like I said, because I try to be—I try to be a positive person when it comes to shit like this. I sure as fuck ain't no positive person when I'm not playing games and shit. I'm gonna tell you that right now. But, but uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, got a little, a little excited there. But um, you know, like I said, I believe every Pokemon has has some, well, has some, has viability within the within the confines of the game. I really do believe that. You know, it's just it's just when and how you use it. You know, you gotta use it in the position that it's gonna be it's gonna be good in. And and I value Pokemon that are able to tough their way through things when they don't have the obvious type advantage. You know, like I said, I'm just maybe I'm just underestimating Granker's attack power. Maybe that's it. Or I'm just thinking that you know, because we haven't had a chance to use Granker all that much against shit that it's effective against. I mean, other than a handful of um, you know normal types. But that's just. You know, that's just where I feel like we might run into some trouble. But uh, other than that, I think I think we can we'll be fine. Like I said, I've been very very happy with the way Who Garden has joined the group, and I really wish we had Ice Beam because if we did, he'd handle that fucking dragon douche at the at the end of the Elite Four. I don't fucking remember who it is. It's one of them assholes. But he's got you know like dragon type. Although in this gen, it shouldn't be that much of an issue because. Dragon wasn't what it is in later generations. But anyway, this is a good enough place to stop. Um, if you've made it this far on YouTube, you know what to do. Thanks a lot for watching. And remember, the ghost key is the only place where pants are optional. <laughs>